Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Yo games and graphics we're back in the building with another mod video but today's mod video is going to be for Spider-Man the new Spider-Man remastered game that came out and this is a new PC modding tool that makes it easier for us to uh, create and install mods into the Superman PC game files are right now this page that we are on right now this is created by Jedi Josh 920 shout out to the creator man he's always creating some good uh, tools for us to mod all different type of games man so shout out to Jedi Josh first of all you are going to need this spider-man PC modding tool okay this link that will be linked down in the description will lead you down to this page make sure that you read the full description and the description has all the information that you're going to need um, especially about the installation extracting and replacing assets creating and installing mods and so forth and so on okay and it also lets you know um, in the requirements what other mods uh, require this PC modding tool to install them okay so uh, you want to install this now because um, the game is you know fairly new to the PC and the mods are coming out so um, as days go by more mods come out this tool is going to be needed for every mod to be installed all right so you want to go to the files tab in order to download and you want to make sure that you're on the latest files okay the latest files will always be posted up at the top okay you want to get here and select manual download in order to download the files now there's going to be a second link I will have down in the description that second link will lead you to here the Norman Osborn mod okay this is a mod where you can play as Norman Osborn all right that's uh Harry's father all right so once you get down here read the description It's a very short description and it's just letting you know what will be uh, required which is the spider-man pc modding tool okay so uh we already have the requirement downloaded so let's go ahead and click on files tab on norman osborne mod and we want to do the same we want to select the main files and always select the files that are at the top of the list as you can see there are old files here so we want to select the main files and just select manual download in order to download all right now once you have both of these downloaded your superman pc modding tool and your norman osborne mod it should look something like this on my right hand side I have two downloads the first one is Norman Osborn and the second one is spider-man PC tool on my left hand side I have my spider-man game files opened up as you can see your spider-man game files is going to consist of your application your spider-man exe the one that you use to launch the game with so make sure that you have the proper game files open up for your for your uh, spider-man remastered now what we want to do is go ahead and open up the Spider-Man PC tool. Let's open up the Spider-Man PC tool. Open this up and we're going to have our application right here. Now before we do our application, there is a thing that I did and um, this might take some time for you to do as well, but I do strongly suggest it. Um, until I hear different, I this is what I did inside of my game files in my spider-man game files i took the asset archive and i made a copy of it okay at the time before i installed the mods it was only about i think about 60 gigabytes yeah i know it's going to be a lot of gigabytes and um just in case you don't have that room um i would focus on what parts that you're installing and try to make a copy of that but for me i just went ahead and made a copy of the whole asset asset archive folder all right because these are going to be this is your main folder where all the files are going to replace the game files for the characters or whatnot all right so um if you do have the space go ahead and make a save of the asset archive um until i hear different because uh this is where everything is going to be going and to my knowledge it will replace everything inside and you won't have a chance to back it up so make sure that uh, if you have a chance to back it up then back up this folder right here because this folder consists of all of these files inside here and each of these files right here have other files inside of those <laughs> so that's why we need our pc modding tool okay so now that we have got that out the way if you can make a backup of the asset archive go ahead and do that before um before carrying on with this tutorial 
Now let's go ahead and carry on the SMPC tool right here. You want to go ahead and select that, open that up by double clicking on it. Once that tool is open, what is going to happen if this is your first time, what you want to do is select file, select file, and then you want to select, select asset archive folder. You're going to select that. Then you want to look for um, your folder, which is going to be inside of your Spider-Man remastered game files right here. So I located my, my uh, game file folder. And all we want to do is locate asset archive okay make sure that you select the asset archive folder go ahead and press open all right once that is open go ahead and select save all right then you have asset archive successfully set give it some time let the files load in all right there we go now, like I said before, if this is your first time, you're going to have a message that says that, uh, well, pretty much, let's go back to the download page. All right. In the description on the download page, if you had read the full description, like I urged you to earlier, this says right here, if this is your first time you are using the tool, it should give you a warning asking you to convert your asset archives. All right. And uh, it says you will need to do this to make the game compatible with modding use tools and then convert asset archives this can take 15 to 20 minutes but this is one time thing all right what you want to do is uh select tools after you have selected file and selected your archive folder you want to come back here and select tools and then you want to go down to the bottom select convert asset archives now keep in mind this is going to take 15 20 minutes or longer it actually took me a lot longer than 15 and 20 minutes so i guess it's depending on you know your pc your game files i don't know but um go ahead and make sure that you do this you have to do this first before you install any mods or start to uh, uh create any mods all right so go ahead and select convert asset archives give that some time when that is done now we are all ready to go ahead and install okay but make sure that you do that first and make sure that you wait till it's all done after that is done let's go ahead and minimize this now we can go back to our um, archives right here. We'll go back to our downloads where we had uh, our Norman Osborne folder. Let's open up the Norman Osborne folder. Inside that folder, we are going to have two files over here. All right. Now these two files right here, this first one, we are going to be installing into our, um, our Spider-Man PC tool. Let's go ahead and bring that up right here. Now, what we want to do in order to install our, our Norman Osborne mod, we want to go to install mod right here. Select install mod at the top of a Spider-Man PC tool. And then you will have a window that will pop up like this. Uh, you can go ahead and copy the address to where you have your download app and just paste it in this browser right here. All right, and then you will see your SMPC mod file right here. This, these are the mod files that uh, we will have from our PC tool. So let's go ahead and select that right here, Norman Osborne, and select open. Once you select open, you should see a new window pop up right here, and it will let you know the title of the mod, the author of the mod, and there will be a description if um, the creator had provided it. And these will be the modified files. Okay, these are the modified files right here. There is a way to uh, find these files by using uh, Sheet Engine, uh, but I would suggest this way. This is a lot more easier to install the files. As you can see, everything pops up, all the information, even the picture of the thumbnail. All right. So from this point, all you want to do is select install mod. Now, after you select install mod, give it about uh, five minutes or so. It could take either shorter for you or longer for you. But at this point, just go ahead and click install mod. After that part has been installed, we can go ahead and uh, minimize the PC modding tool for Spider-Man. Now what we want to do is go ahead and navigate to our C drive. Go to your C drive and then go to your uh, users and then select your name, whatever your name of your computer, and then go down to documents. You want to select documents. Scroll down till you get to Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. Okay, that's what you want to go inside. Marvel's Spider-Man's Remastered. You want to click on that and then inside of here you want to find a folder 
that um, has these numbers. Yours might be the same like mine's. Mine starts off with seven, seven, six, five, six, and a whole bunch of other numbers. Um, but yours might start with the same numbers or it might have different numbers. Whichever folder has a whole bunch of numbers like that, click on that folder, okay? Go ahead and open up that folder. And inside that folder, this is where our saves are going to go, okay? So if you've been saved the game already, um, this is where you will find your saves at, all right? Now, if you wanna go over back to our Norman Osborne um, download, and if you look, we have a save that we have to install in slot one. We're gonna select that, drag and drop that over here. All right, I already have it as you can see. But uh, if you have another one, um, if you have a save already that is a slot one save, uh, go ahead and make a backup of that save before you drag and drop the Norman Osborne save into your document folder, okay? Always make a backup of everything before you replace it, all right? Now that we have dragged and dropped that, everything is installed, we all good to go. Let's go ahead and run the game. All right, when you load into the game, when the game loads up, um, I only had one save. My save that I had in already was uh, the first one at 67%. Um, the save that we just installed from the Norman Osborne mod is going to be 100%, okay? It's gonna be a profile two uh, right here. It's gonna be the second one right here. I'll say a level 50 ultimate and 100%, all right? We wanna select that one, okay? That's the, that's the save that we just installed. So select the profile two, 100%. And then we're going to hit, go ahead and select continue. All right, when the game um, loads in, you should see that you are um, Osborne right over here into the lights. And you can see that we are Mr. Osborne. That's right, Norman Osborne in the building. <laughs> So um, it's just that simple. It's a pretty much easy installation process and everything. Um, and, you know, he has the same functionality as uh, Spider-Man climbing up walls and swinging everywhere, all that. You know, fights people, does it all. <laughs> like, there goes uh, one of our businesses right here at the Oscorp Industry. Oh, let's get up here. There we go. Right the Oscorp Industry. Tutorial right here, but if this helps y'all out to install the PC Spider Man and Norman Osborne mod, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't even shared the video with y'all friends that are in the modding Spider Man. Yo, this game's graphics, me and uh, Norman Osborne. We out of here till next time. Yep, yep, yep. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.